all right good morning everyone today is the day that i will be going to kangirso quebec canada for a mission trip so on this part here i was just making my bed as you can see i'm obviously very tired i couldn't sleep the night before because i was worried and excited at the same time and next i will be showering as you can see still very tired and the outfit for today blue polo and just little khakis i guess so for this day i had an exam first before i could head to the train station um this day was like my last day of school and it was my last exam i did my exams two weeks earlier than my other classmates so here are my parents and i on my way to school and in the next clip here is on the way to the testing center and i had done my exam there and i got a pretty good mark so yeah So here we are at Union Station, so I am here at Union Station because I had to take a train from Toronto to Montreal since Montreal is the only airport that has flights available to Kangersuk. Um, so Kangersuk is like in the north, very northern part of Quebec just before Iqaluit and there are two flights before you can get to Kangirsuk you first get one in Kujuak which is a two um, hour flight from Montreal the flight from Kujuak to Kangirsuk is actually a two hour flight not 30 minutes it felt like 30 minutes um, so I, I messed it up 30 minute, 40 minute to Kangirsuk so here I am just catching up on some rest and I did it um, again the night before and on the train we would stop by every little station so it took a while the train ride was approximately six hours i think and now here we are at ottawa station so at ottawa station i had a 30 40 minute layover until i can get on my next train so i am staying at my cousin's place for the night and i will be leaving tomorrow morning as my flight leaves I, I remember 8 a.m but it was layover until like 10 a.m so i had time to walk around the airport now arrived in Kujuak. Um, the original layover was I th only two hours. I left Montreal at around 8, 8 10 a.m. arrived around 2 and my flight was originally at 4 p.m. but it was delayed until like 5, 5.30. So I, I didn't know that it was gonna be delayed for that long and weather-wise when I arrived in Kujuak, it was 24 degrees, which was apparently summer for them already, and that was very hot. But the original weather was, I think, 10 to 15 degrees. And even if it was that warm, it was still pretty cold. You would still need to wear a jack light jacket. So throughout the whole week in Kangirsuk, I had worn a little sweater vest and also my jacket because 
I am from the Philippines and I wasn't used to the cold so I had to wear a jacket but the locals there they had thinner jackets than what I was wearing so yeah Here is just a little view of where I will be staying. It's right there. Alright, so the first day I arrived there, Alyssa P and Susie picked me up from the airport and Alyssa P gave me a little tour around their land. So this part here is like a pier where they um, put their boats down to go fishing. And that this part here is their gas station and this building here is the school here is another pier where they drop off their canoes and that building there the little broken down one that was the old Hudson's Bay When I landed in Kangasuk, the weather was amazing. Um, this was just right before sunset, so it was just a great day to look around and explore the land. Here are just some dogs that they use for dog sledding in winter. And as you can see there, they're very adorable and hopefully you can see them, but there's a little puppy that would chase the car right there. That white one. Yeah. Hello. Alright, so I made it to Kangirso, Quebec. And I am here. I was just taking some photos earlier because the place I'm staying at is um, right in front of the water. So I was just taking some pictures. I'm going to insert some photos that I took here. But a little preview. Can you see? But a little preview for you guys. So that's the update. Alright, time check 9.30 p.m. Um exhausted i usually don't sleep this early but i'm just so tired i am gonna sleep early today because i have an early morning tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed that day and i hope you keep watching